Hey everybody, Carol here from Designer Stencils and here we are with another project for stenciling during the holiday season. I'm sure you're going to have plenty of people over for Thanksgiving and then before we know it we're into the winter months of Christmas and sledding. And around here we actually um, get snow probably right before right before Christmas. I have a bet with my dad every year. I told him it snows before Thanksgiving and guess what, out of the past 10 years, I won maybe four times. So December, we're known for some good snows and when it snows, I like nothing better than to have a hot cup of cocoa. And today we're gonna show you how to make an extra treat with that, whether you're doing hot apple cider for your fall season or cocoa for winter, we're gonna decorate the tops. Here I have two cups, one with froth, and all I did was add some creamer to Jess. She was so nice, she brought in her Ninja Frother. Put that in there, frothed it up, and poured it on top of my cider. And here I have hot um, cocoa with just whipped cream on there, and I flattened it off so that we have a nice flat surface to work with. So here we're going to put gather on top of this one. And if I put it straight from the jar, the holes are so big and I have a delicate pattern, that's gonna be a little gloppy for that. So I've put some in a fine sieve. And we're just gonna tap that. Over top of the stencil. And there we go. It shows gather. Impress all your friends with that one. And now we're gonna go to the cocoa. Now with the cocoa, I have a snowflake pattern and I already have it in a fine mesh shaker. So we're gonna put our pattern here. Look at how beautiful that is. I hope you enjoyed today's project. I know I certainly did. It's something I always try and have around with my family. All you need is a shaker and a stencil in your pantry or in your cupboard and you're all set to go for any occasion. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We've got lots of fun projects planned for the next couple of weeks and leave me your comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can.